guys, I am in line at the uh, wind buffet right now. So I did get out of my car, and it turned out it was an Autobot. Uh, this is probably a bad place to do this, so I'll try this one more time later. It's the Ace of Vegas, the Ace of Vegas. Okay guys, here we are, got myself my complimentary weekday dinner from uh, the buffet at Wynn. Got the compliments right here. So just waiting in line to sit. And it's a beautiful floral waiting area over here. So very pretty, very well lit, and I'm looking forward to the food. So uh, yeah, let's jump right on into it. Okay, and I guess we get to sit in the upper section today. I like the lower section down here, very pretty. Nice flowers, and we get to walk up this way, and lots more mirrors over here too, lots of mirrors, so this is pretty neat. Alright guys, when we are seated here in the upper area, again, very pretty, not quite as many flowers and all that, but still very nice here, and I'm ready to go ahead and get some chow if you guys are. Let's actually get started this time. Okay, we're going to start here going down the ramp. It's a very steep ramp, apparently, because I went down that fast. Hoo hoo hoo! Look at this place. All right, so they start off strong salad station here. Um, I usually do salads last, but it looks like they do have some good tomato heirloom salad, veggie caprice. Um, oh, prosciutto melon salad. I might actually get down on some of that. And then they have a nice little soup station over here. So it looks like we've got hot, hot and sour soup, vegan corn chowder, chicken noodle, and minestrone. So a good, fair selection. Uh, I've got a wine tasting station over here with the proper cheeses, the wine tasting cheeses, and the artisan breads. And it looks like the meats over here, I think these look better than Aria's do already. So let's see what else we have. And then we're moving on to the meat station. Looks like it's mainly fish on this side. We got braised mussels and oh, we got crab claw too. So that's pretty dope. Salmon and grilled cod. Not really much of a uh, not really much of a fish guy. And of course they have the pizza too. I'm not sure what it is. All these pizzas look exactly the same, but that's cool. Um, we also have the rigatoni and the Cornish game hen. Penne with meatballs, so we got into the Italian station and duck ragu. I don't think I've ever had duck ragu, so I'm gonna go ahead and add that to the plate over here. All right, and then we have the shrimp and pasta, crispy fried chicken with artichokes and spinach, and four cheese campanelli. And then we have, uh, oh, what's all this? We got latkes, they actually have latkes, that's new. Never actually been to a buffet with latkes before. And then, of course, they have the roasted veg over here, smashed ringlings. I think they have meatloaf and all that. Yeah, classic meatloaf for the classic American foods. Uh, artisanal breads, more bread. And then your other uh, standard steakhouse sides. Crispy chicken, good stuff. Um, roast vegetables, and oh, we got curry. So we got a bit of fragrant asante rice, and I'd like some of that. Nice little scoop of that there to go with the duck. There we go. Chickpea and tomato stew. So with the tomatoes there. And then they got prime rib. Chimich Ooh, is that chimichurri New York strip? Let's get a slice of that, boss. Nice, thanks, mate. I'll be I'll come back for more later. And then we also got some brisket and, ooh, barbecue beef, too. Nice. Oh, and they have ribs here? That's nice. Wow. Herb roasted chicken. Yeah, they, they do it up at this uh, carvery over here. That is probably the biggest carvery I've been to in a while. And then they have the old Asian station over here, so Japanese fried rice. Ooh, sesame chicken. I get down on that. Oh, pardon me, ma'am. Just going to slide in. All right, there we go. Okay, and let's keep going. And char siu, Billy Burke. And we'll keep going here. I think they have some more vegetables and egg rolls. And then at the end we have the uh, oh chicharrones, artichoke dip, 
Oh, I don't think we're even at the end yet. So we're getting the uh, sushi now, and they have a whole huge sushi station with cali rolls and tiger rolls and all that. And of course, you have the fresh shrimp cocktail over here. I'm going to be in the, a shrimp monster again, a part of it. Definitely going to be the shrimp monster, like I was last time. I'll be taking the last of the lemon, too, because I'm a monster. There we go. Oh, and shrimp cocktail sauce, all right. Nice, okay, I'll take this back with me. And they do also have oysters on the half shell. I don't care much for oysters, though. I do care for the Alaskan crab legs, though, so I'm going to raid the station on the way back. All right, but that is the basic buffet tour. I think there's just a little bit more to go. While we head back, we should swing by the dessert station to see what they have over there. They have quite the dessert station up this way. Oh man, look at all this. Well, we got to get the cherry and chocolate pudding too. I ran out of space on the plate though, so I'll have to come back later. And then they got the apple pie. We got lots of little cones of things too. And then your own dessert crepe station. That's pretty nuts. All right. So this is good stuff. Butterscotch pudding, apple cranberry cobbler, all nine yards. All right, let's go ahead and check the other half. DJ got his phone. You guys don't want to hear me sing. Nice. Yep, and they got the custom ice cream over here. Yeah, Wendy's really going to be cross that she didn't come to this over here. All the ice cream. And they have the apples and all that, too. Yeah, this is going to be great. So let's go ahead and head back to the table and try this out. Alright guys, well I am all set to go, still enjoying a little dessert over here. You know dessert's good when I want some because I'm not usually a dessert sort of guy. So I had to put that out there. Um, as far as win goes, I think overall, if you're gonna go for it, hit the premium stuff. The premium stuff is just so much better than just the basics. Like uh, they really kind of missed on the uh, on the Indian rices and things like that, so the rices and the... Uh, in the cauliflower and that sort of stuff they kind of missed out on, not seasoned very well. But you know, they hit it on the broccoli, they hit it on the rigatoni, uh, you, you hit it really, really well on the steak, I gotta admit. So the carvery is still pretty top notch too, I really like that. Uh, what else did I have? Oh, and the crab legs, love the crab legs. So worth it, crab legs and crab claws, awesome. And then the desserts are actually really, really great too. Um, would I say this is worth 1,200 wind gems? Not really. Um, so it's about $45 to get in here normally on the weekday. I think something like 55 on the weekend, something like that, and they step it up uh, one more notch over here. Um, as far as the weekday buffets for dinner, I think this is probably the best one I've ever had. Um, it beats out a lot of the... Yeah, no, I think it's straight up just the best dinner buffet I've ever had. Although Aria was definitely the best lunch buffet I've ever had. So I haven't had a chance to tack up the Aria dinner buffet versus the Wynn dinner buffet over here. I'd very much like to do that someday. But haven't had a chance to do that yet. Uh, that being said, if I'm asking... You know, if you're asking between the two of them... I'd say Aria had more things that I liked. I think they have a better selection. Um, Wynn was very focused, and then um, everything that they did have that I did like, it was just, it was one step beyond what Aria did. Aria did good, they did better, you know what I mean? So, it, it, it's a quality or quantity sort of thing. If you want a little more versatility, I'd go Aria. If you want something that's a bit more focused and just does well, i definitely go Wynn. If you ask me. Personal opinion. That's what it comes down to. Alright guys, well I'm going to go ahead and take a break. Um, thinking about doing some karaoke tonight. We'll go ahead and see about that. So, until next time, Mike Spinners and Sharks. Ace of Vegas is signing out. Wishing you all strong hands. And of course, happy spinning.